Crew members make up the Kelly to the swivel stem. The Kelly has either four or six sides and passes through a four or six sided opening in the Kelly drive bushing. The Kelly drive bushing mates with a master bushing. So, when the machinery inside the rotary table rotates the master bushing, the Kelly drive bushing rotates the Kelly and attach drill string and bit. The Kelly is flat sided with either a square or hexagonal cross section. It's square in this drawing. It is hollow so that drilling fluid can flow through it. The Kelly moves through a square or hexagonal opening in the Kelly drive bushing. Kelly drive bushing mates with a master bushing in the rotary table. The rotary table turns the master bushing, the Kelly drive bushing, the Kelly, and the attached drill string and bit. The Kelly can move vertically while rotating. The rotary table performs two functions. First, it transmits rotary motion to the master bushing, which drives the Kelly and drill string, and, with assistance from slips, hangs the drill string. The master bushing goes inside an opening in the rotary table. Small master bushings are usually a solid single piece, as shown here. Large master bushings are either split or hinged. Crew members install a two-piece or split insert bowl in a receptacle in the center of the master bushing. The insert bowl is tapered inside and supports the back of the slips. They come in various sizes. The crew changes out the insert bowls to match with the type of slips in use. Insert bowls are also called inserts or bushings. Rotary tables have openings that range in diameter from 17 to 49 inches. 43 centimeters to about 1.2 meters. The smallest can hold a non-moving load of 250 tons, about 225 metric tons. The largest can hold a non-moving load of 800 tons, about 725 metric tons. Some small rotaries can spin as fast as 500 revolutions per minute, RPM. Large rotaries spin a bit slower, with upper ranges of about 300 RPM. Manufacturers taper the inside of the insert bowl. They taper it to match the taper of the back of the slips. The slips grip the drill string and suspend it inside the insert bowl. The insert bowl fits inside the rotary table's master bushing. Suspending the drill string in this manner allows crew members to disconnect the Kelly or top drive and break out joints of drill pipe. Crew members can remove the insert bowls to provide a larger opening through the rotary table. If necessary, they can also remove the master bushing. They may have to do this to run a large hole opener bit or large casing. Casing is pipe that the crew runs to line the walls of the hole after they drill it. A rotary table and Kelly system includes a swivel and rotary hose. The swivel has a bale, like the bale or the handle on a bucket only much larger. The swivel bale hangs from the hook on the traveling block. The swivel allows the attached Kelly and drill string to rotate. At the same time, the rotary hose conducts drilling mud into a curved pipe called the gooseneck. The gooseneck attaches to the swivel and carries drilling fluid to the swivel via the wash pipe. The rotary hose is flexible, steel-reinforced hose that allows the swivel to move up and down within the mast. A passageway inside the swivel stem conducts the high-pressure drilling mud into the Kelly and drill string. Here is an isolated view of the swivel. The bale hangs the swivel from the hook, which is not shown. The rotary hose conducts drilling mud to the gooseneck. Mud flows through the gooseneck, down the wash pipe, and into the stem and drill string below. Wash pipe packing seals the high pressure mud in the wash pipe as the stem rotates. The stem rotates on heavy duty radial bearings and thrust bearings. The main thrust bearings support the entire weight of the drill string as it rotates. Swivels have dead load capacities ranging from 150 to 1,250 tons, about 135 to 1,125 metric tons. An oil reservoir lubricates the bearings and rotating parts 